For eons, the floating island of Voyanui has been guarding an ancient secret. Hidden deep inside the island's burning core is a Kanoe mask, the mask of life so powerful that it may mean life or death for the entire universe. But a device and powerful, a devious and powerful gang of villains called the Paraka have come to steal the mask. They have enslaved the Matoran villagers of Voyanui and something else. <laughs> now, six heroes have arrived on the shores of Voyanui to begin a mission that could very well be their last. They are the Toa, and the text goes too fast to read aloud. <laughs> Alright, Lego Bionicle, the Voyanui online game. So, uh, I played this a bit as a kid uh, for a little while. I remember getting stuck at a certain point because I couldn't find a quest item that I needed. Uh, and that was fun. Um, I played it again more recently, and the game, like, crashed on me, and I lost my save. Uh, but it's been a while since I've played still, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this game and see what what it's all about. Let's play as Kongu. What should we name ourselves? <laughs> uh, that's, that's good. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. I was worried that the sound might not be working, but it sounds like there's just no sound until the menu. I mean, the in, until you actually get in the game. Okay, welcome. I am Garan, one of the last Primatoran of Voyanui. We have been waiting for you for a long time, Toa. But are you truly a Toa hero? I must ask you questions and learn the truth. Do you know why you are here? I do not know why I have come to your island. I am here to help the Matoran. I am here to defeat the last Matoran. Yes. Well, let's answer this one. Very good. Do you know where you are? I am lost. I am on the island of Voyanui. I am, in the, I, I am on the island of Matanui. Alright. Indeed, this is the island called Voyanui. You have come far from your homeland, Strange Toa. Do you know what it is you are here to find? I seek the mask of life. I am looking for new sources of protodermis. <laughs> I do not know, I don't know what we are looking for. Okay. Then it is as I hoped. You have come in search of the fabled mask of life. The one thing that can save the great spirit Matanui. I fear it will not be an easy thing to find. Why? <laughs> Unfortunately, you are not the only one who seeks the mask of life, Toa. Voyanui has been invaded. The evil Paraka have enslaved most of our people to use in their hunt for the mask. We know of six. Radak, Thok, Hakan, Vizok, Avak, and Zaktan. They, squabbled and uh, they squabble and scheme against each other. But any one Paraka is a match for a hundred Matoran. And when they combine their abilities, they are stronger still. I do not think that even a Toa can face those monsters unaided. Uh, I can make something that will help you in your battles, but I will need five pieces of ice metal to craft it. You can find them on Rahi called Icegafna, <laughs> the nest to the north of here. Be but beware that Gafna will not give up the metal without a fight. Alright, so we're gonna get into the first quest then. I forgot how we get started, but we have a few commands here on the bottom. Hide. Hide. <laughs> there, I'm hiding. Okay, and then we can also create a diversion, in which case, I think we just call enemies over to us. Can he go through the water? He can! Ah! He attack! <laughs> he attack fast! Alright, uh. Special Toa Air. Special Toa Air! Oof! Alright. Uh. Do I have to end my turn somehow? No, I get to move now. Where should I have a little hop to? Let's go over here. <laughs> Come get me. Alright. Now do I have to end my turn? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Whack. Got him. 70 points of experience. Alright. So I can also dig the ground. And you can see these little pebbles here and there. We can use to... Dig up heavy metal fragment. Of course, heavy metal fragment. All right, Garn said go to the west, right? Uh, I think 
Even if he... I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention to what he said, but I seem to recall that we're meant to go this way anyway. So let's ignore the little orange dudes. Here we go. Ice gun. Gaffna. Okay. Here we go. Take it. Blech. Oh, one shot. Nice. Ice metal piece. And ice shards. Come here. Oh, I clicked him all the way over here. Now I'm too far away. Okay. I guess... Ah! Ah! So I guess if you uh, click an enemy, then it insta... Instama... Instama puts you in battle. <laughs> what? The other... What? Okay. <laughs> I remember this game being a little bit glitchy from time to time. Uh oh Hey. Hang on a sec. How do I... Cancel. No, wait. I don't want to fire. I want to... Okay, yes, we walk. Hey there. Bah! <laughs> Got him. Alright. How many ice metal pieces do I need? Uh, five? We go this way. Hey there. He's gonna hide behind this stupid rock. Come here. I'm standing on his head now. Okay. There. I'm attacked. I'm attacked. Uh, yeah, I'm attacked. Okay, whatever. I'm apparently attacked. What? Why can't I attack? <laughs> Why no attack? Oh, I can't attack because I'm somehow out of range. This sucks. Uh, okay, well, I guess we have to somehow... Okay, there we go. That should let us attack. Got him. <laughs> okay, one ice metal piece. Nice. Two more. Some of the terrain here is kind of messy. Come here. I'm attacked by an ice cap now. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I attacked him. Ah! Oh, nine. That's lame. Ah, where's he going? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant, how do you, if you click the thing to use an attack, how do you cancel your attack easily? Whatever. Um. So that's four. Let's find one more. One more. Ah, here we go. This guy looks like he's ripe for the killing, massacring. I'm here to wipe out this whole species. You're here to be. You're going to become extinct. <laughs> That's right. Oof. Go back. Why? Why you do this? <laughs> Why? Ah. All right. That's all the ice metal we need. So we've got. Show my quests. Inventory. Hey, I can upgrade, can't I? Upgrade attack. Sure. Um, show quest. Show this. Show the map. What's the map do? Fight some ice, Rahi. <laughs> do I have five? I'm pretty sure I do. I have five ice metal pieces. Okay. Show the map. Wow. Look at this. Can I? I can't quick travel. That's fine. Don't attack me. I'll be angry. It's digging time. Water Zammer Launcher. Can I put that on me? Aha. I have an extra attack now. This way. Run, Kongu. <laughs> Dig. Water Claw. I can put that on too, I think. I have Water Claw attack. Nice. Alright, where is Garin? Is he over here? This is a small area. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I go this way. Did I already dig here? Was I here already? I think I was. Yes, I'm back around. That running animation is not the best. <laughs> it's very jerky. Okay. I do not think even a Toa can face a... Okay. You've collected all the ice metal that we need. Unfortunately, I have lost the equipment that I need to craft it. When I was scouting near the Protodermis Lake, a wild Burnak surprised me and chased me off before I could collect my tools. You must defeat the Burnak and bring back anything you can find. Then I will explain what we must do next. Nice. Wait, there's a pile of rocks here that I didn't even see before. Little metal fragment. What's this? Like, okay, well, maybe we should go ahead and bump off this guy. 
Let's use Ice Claw. Yeah! Oh, that did nothing. Oh, that's not Ice Claw. It's Water Claw. My bad. Can I attack multiple times? I can. Because I've got action points. I didn't even pay attention to those before. Uh, okay. Enter. Blah. He's running. He thinks he can get away. I have 10 uses with the Xamar Launcher. Okay, well, maybe we'll not waste them then. Got him. <laughs> okay. So, where do we want to go? We want to... Does it show the Burnak on my map? Protodermis Lake. It do. It do. Okay. We go this way then. Do I have... No. How do I... When do I level up? Where's my experience? Oh, here. Okay. Attack. Claw you. Yeah. <laughs> and attack. Why are the earth ones so much tougher than the ice ones? I hate that they run away. That's so annoying. <laughs> Come back. Pew. All right. 40 points of experience. Nice. Okay, Burnax over here. Here's the lake. Burnak. Here's Burnak. Surrender. Silly Puma guy. Ooh, he has a lot of health, though. I can't claw him. Can I walk any closer? Aha. Prepare to be clawed. <laughs> uh. ah! He does some damage. Yeah. Alright, we're getting him. We're getting him. Oof. And claw him. Claw. <laughs> okay, well. Ew. Nice. Now we claw. Six. Is this gonna kill him? I guess it probably won't, will it? Three. Yuck. Air Toa Special! Alright, nice. Garn's equipment. Got it. He was just conveniently hanging on to it. Okay. Uh. See if there's anything to dig up in this room. There is! Go get it, Kongu! Run! Light attack armor of air. Nice. We go this way. So I guess we'll go back to Garin now, see what he has us do next. Wait a second. There's a thing. I want to dig that up. I didn't do this already, did I? No. Earth Zammer Launcher. I don't know what the difference between these weapons is. Uh, I'm probably... Oops. I was attacked. I was attacked. Got him. Stupid. That's what you get for attacking me. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. This way. Uh, is Garin... I forgot where he is. He's up here, maybe? This way? I'll have to memorize this map a bit better. Boop. Okay. Oh, yeah. We go down here now. Hey there. The Burnak is gone? And you've brought back my equipment. Uh, with it, I have made this. <laughs> that was fast. If you equip it, uh, it will attack. It will help protect you from water attacks. You may find more items that help you as you journey across the island. Give the equipment. When the Paraka came, I hid some supplies nearby. Before we can join the other free Matoran at the fortress, we will need to retrieve them. But the area is too dangerous for me to travel. Please go to the stone heaps. And dig up two metal fragments that are buried there. Uh, I will need them to craft protection. When you have found them, bring them back here. Uh, oh, I have them? Now we can join the others. Uh, Voyanuri swarms with dangerous creatures. Even Atoa cannot fight them all at once. You should practice the technique of diversion. By drawing an enemy's attention, you can lead it away from its group and overpower it alone. 
Let us travel into the jungle together. Look at your map, and I will point you to our destination. Uh, point out our destination. When you're ready to leave, tell me. All right, let's see what he gave us. Ooh, he gave us a defense Kanohi of water. <laughs> Thank you. Ice shard. All right. Uh, I guess we might as well get get going. Okay, where did, are we supposed to go? Oh, all the way out here. Wood tunnel entry. All right, well, let's go this way, I guess. Come, Garen, we go this way. And keep an eye out for goodies. Uh, nothing. Okay. Look at this. We must have this. It's broken. Why didn't it dig up? Dig. What? Why is it broken? I want this. Did I already dig it up, maybe? Am I stupid and I already dug it up? <laughs> I don't remember doing it. Well, maybe I'm just a dum-dum. Okay. Where are we? Is this the right way? Let's check the map. Aha, we are here. Okay. Distract the blocking lava ape and escort Garin to the jungle island. Talk to Garin. Escort. Okay, um... So I guess this is the... bit where you're meant to use the diversion. So I think... We're meant to create a diversion. Come here, blocking lava ape. Uh-oh, he's coming. <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> that was close. I think he actually is, like, really hard to kill. So, where do you he's still here. Yeah. Run! <laughs> Come on, Garen. We gotta go before he comes back. We're here, but what? Look. Oh man. <laughs> We're here, but look. A Rahi beast guards the trunk bridge. You must create a diversion to draw the beast in your direction. When he becomes distracted, he, uh, we will run as fast as possible to the other shore. Remember, the greater the diversion that you create, the further away you will be seen by enemies. What does that mean? How do you create a greater diversion? Okay, greater diversion. Go, run. We go, we run. Why are you walking, Kongu? <laughs> Kongu, no. We run, Garin. <laughs> All right. We're on the other side. Beautiful. He's hiding. I forgot that he just <laughs> wedges himself in between here. Well done, Toa, but there's plenty left to do. Are you ready? Ready. Whoa. Chapter 1. The Matoran Village. Alright. Do you see the village nearby? That is where the Matoran lived before the Paraka came. I need you to retrieve three items that were left there. When we, uh, when we fled, the first... In a, is in a Matoran hut. The second is in a maiden village area. The last is above the launcher warehouse. I would go with you if I could, but the guardian left by the Paraka knows to watch for Matoran. Please hurry, Toa. Okay. Let's see what we're doing. All right. Let's increase your Toa's probability to make critical hits. Dodging attacks more easily. All right. Well, let's upgrade these two for now. How do I... Okay, there are the stats. Let's see. Are these pretty much identical? Looks like it. Alright, well. I guess... We'll go ahead and end this episode here. And next episode, we'll move on to the village. So, anyway... Ah, oh, I attacked too... Too far away. That's annoying. <laughs> oh, no. Well, anyways. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then go ahead and do the usual supportive stuff, and I will see you guys for the next one. When, as I said, we'll head over to the village. Ah, come on. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll head over to the village. You didn't kill him? <laughs> head over to the village and continue on with the quest line. Okay.
Wemo. Anyways, <laughs> from Super Stupidity, it is goodbye for now. Goodbye.